I'm ready to hire your entire class right now. <laughs> the most important investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, very, very, very few people get anything like their potential horsepower translated into the actual horsepower of their output in life. And, and potential exceeds realization to just an enormous factor with so many people. And I, one illustration you might try with your class, I tell them this when I talk to high school groups. I, just imagine that you're 16 and I was going to give you a car of your choice today, any car you wanted to pick but there was one catch attached to it. It was the only car you were going to get in the rest of your life. So you had to make it last there. You can pick out the fanciest one you want, a Maserai, whatever it might be. How would you treat it? Well, of course you would read the owner's manual about five times before you turned the key in the ignition. You'd keep it garaged. Any little rust you would get taken care of immediately. You'd change the oil twice as often as you were supposed to because you know it has to last a lifetime. And then I tell the students and you get one body and one mind and uh, it's going to have to last your lifetime and you better treat it the same way and you better start treating it right now because it doesn't do you any good to start worrying about that when you're 50 or 60 and the rust, that little speck of rust has turned into something big. So anything your students do to invest in their mind and body, uh, particularly your mind, we didn't work too hard on the bodies around here, but... <laughs> You know, it pays off. It pays off in an extraordinary way. Your, your best asset is your own self. And you can become, to an enormous degree, the person you want to be. Uh, when I get classes in universities, I just ask them to imagine they were going to buy one of their classmates to own 10% of for the rest of their life. Which one would they pick? They wouldn't pick the one with the highest IQ or the, necessarily the one with the highest grades. They pick the person that's going to be effective. And the reason people are effective is because other people want to work with them. They want to, they want to be around them. And other people, they don't want to be around. And those are qualities that an individual picks up being generous, being humorous, being on time, doing you know, not claiming credit for more than you do, but rather than less than you, helping out other people. All kinds of human qualities that turn other people on. And then there's things that turn on people off. And those are habits. And they're the habits that you pick up when they're the age of your students. The habits they have today will follow them throughout life, so why not have good ones?